China delivers world's first 1 lakh ton mobile fish farm. On Friday, Qingdao City, East China Shandong Province. The ship named Goxing One is the realization of an innovative mobile fish farming model regarded as a technological breakthrough for China's deep sea aquaculture industry. The fish farm vessel is 249.9 meters long with a dead weight of 1 lakh tons and a displacement of 1 lakh 30 tons large enough to survive typhoons. The cabin has 15 rooms, each larger than two standard swimming pools. According to CMZ, the ship can handle 3,700 tons of fish annually, including yellow croakers, groupers, and Atlantic salmons. The key technology is the non-stop water exchange between the cabin and the sea that makes the water environment on the ship enclosed and controllable, said Dong Shangguang, Deputy General Manager of the ship's state-owned founder, King Dao Konson Development Group. Mr. Dong told the media that the Goxing One breeding density is three to five times higher than traditional cases and the aquaculture cycle can be up to a quarter shorter. The ship will form in the Yolo Sea, East China Sea and South China Sea with the first batch of Yolo crackers raised expected to be on the market by the fall 2022. The Goxing 2 and Goxing 3 ships of the same model are due for delivery 2024. The construction of an improved version, the Goxing 4, is planned to begin in late 2023. King Dao Goxing Development Group, which will be operating the vessel plans to build four ships after having proven some of its concepts on a smaller vessel and ultimately plans for a fleet of 50 floating mobile fish farms. Guaxing 1 launched from the shipyard in January 2022 and from April 30 to May 5 completed her sea trials. CSSC says it exceeded plans and was delivered with an Official naming ceremony today, May 20, CSSC reports that it has applied for more than 40 patents, including one international patent, and obtained more than 10 authorizations for design elements. The China State Shipbuilding Corporation, CSSC, is a Chinese shipbuilding conglomerate. The CSSC proposed the concept and a demonstration project for deep sea aquaculture in 2019. They are saying that the vessel achieved several records, including becoming the largest aquaculture vessels, the larger tanks, and the greater aquaculture volume. The controlled environment permits them to isolate the fish from harmful natural disasters ranging from red tide and typhoons as well as pollution. Operations abroad the ship are monitored with underwater cameras, sensors and an auto feeding system as well as connectivity to the company's offshore offices to monitor the fish. Thank you.